수석 부사장님은 지금 머크 들어오신 지 얼마나 됐습니까? So I joined Merck in 2011 when they acquired the Millipore, the US based company. And I've been working for Millipore 14 years before. So in total, I've been with Merck almost 28 years. 그럼 지금 부사장님의 그 백그라운드 바이오 쪽입니까? So my 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 uh, I'm by training a biochemist. 네. Okay. And uh, but I've been uh, working most of my time in business functions like commercial, marketing, uh, R&D head, as well as general management. 지금 디스플레이 맡으신 지는 어느 정도나 됐습니까? So I joined Display the first time in uh, September 2018 as a global sales head, and that's when I was located in Japan. And uh, we went back uh, in Europe in end of 2020, and I was managing another business as head of commercial and marketing for uh, Surface business unit. And I joined back uh, Display Solution as a head of the business unit in April this year. 올해 4월부터 어, 지금 맡고 계신 건데 그렇다면은 그 와서 맡아 보시니까 좀 어떤 것 같습니까? 이 디스플레이 시장에 대해서 어, 부사장님께서 갖고 계신 어떤 뷰나 어, 뭐 이런 앞으로의 뭐 전망 이런 것들은 어떻게 보세요? So the display market is a very exciting, exciting market of all, you know, with uh, the growing uh, demand in digitalization, growing demand in data. Uh, display are going, I think, I think to become basically the uh, most uh, device to interfere with the machine and the human being. Okay, so for me, I think display uh, will always has a, a, a great role to play and even greater moving forward. So definitely, uh, uh, we will see display more and more uh, coming as an interface tool for uh, IoT, for example, uh, for automotive, for future AR, VR technology and so on. So definitely uh, I see uh, display application uh, growing uh, in a different areas moving forward. 아마 그 저희 채널을 보시는 분들은 머크가 디스플레이 분야에서 뭘로 매출을 내는지 잘 아실 것 같은데 그래도 모르시, 모르시는 분들이 좀 있으니까 머크의 디스플레이 사업은 대략적으로 어떤 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 솔루션인지 좀 소개를 좀 해주시죠. Merck is uh, the leader in uh, display materials, okay? And uh, we have been in this uh, sector for quite a long time. Even if you look back, you know, uh, we have discovered, you know, the use of uh, LC uh, more than 130 years ago. So definitely long, long time ago. So we are uh, quite unique in uh, the ecosystem of the display material uh, suppliers because we are the only company who can provide solution for um, LC materials or LC displays. Uh, we are the company who provide also a lot of solution for OLED display, as well as uh, providing, you know, a, a solution for backplane activity like our uh, PR, photoresist material that has been also used by the clean display manufacturing. So we are quite unique in terms of, of uh, solution providers. And that's how we also basically play in that market, is being not only a material suppliers, but a solution providers to our customers. 그럼 구체적으로 어떤 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 제품들이 있고 그 시장에서 우리가 어느 정도를 하는지 정도 좀 얘기를 해주실 수 있나요? So we, we won't share about any market share information, definitely not. But uh, we are more or less, you know, uh, looking ourselves of being, you know, the innovative leaders in those different uh, material applications. So for, for LC, you know, our focus is really to provide to our uh, customers who are uh, manufacturing uh, LC panels is uh, efficient solution for uh, better uh, transmission, transmittance, better by the clear use of uh, consumption of energy, okay? Uh, in the LC, there is definitely high demand for faster response time in IT application for gaming, for example. And that's where really I think we are focusing on. I think it's really basically providing high end performances to our LC uh, panel maker customers to provide them basically enhancement in their uh, final product. I like to say we win when our customers are winning. Okay? And for us, it's very, very important that we create an age. Uh, by not only providing 
best materials, but providing an edge to our customers in order particularly to position themselves differently, I think, within the competitive market. And if I may, I think, so that for LC in OLED, um, most of uh, the requirements from our customer or from the industry is about lifetime and efficiency, okay? And that's exactly where we are really focusing how we can either develop new materials, either looking at from a process development point of view, or either looking for the clear new chemistry to provide to our customers those specific aspects in terms of better efficiency and better lifetime in display uh, OLED devices, okay? And the third aspect in our solution uh, providing is to look at also out of our photoresist uh, material and find ways how we can also improve productivity and process efficiency of our customers when they are basically looking at uh, process backplane. 제가 그, 뭐, 머크에서, 몽구에서 이렇게 오시면 항상 여쭤보는 것들이, 뭐, 이런 것들인데, 그, 머크가 지금 크게 일렉트로닉스랑 헬스케어랑 어, 생명과학이 세 가지 사업 부분으로 나눠져 있지 않습니까? 또, 어, 일렉트로닉스 사업 내에서는 또 디스플레이도 있고, 뭐, 반도체도 있고, 뭐, 알료 이런 것들도 있고 한데, 그 사업군 안에서 이 디스플레이 부분으로 총괄하고 계시니까, 어떻습니까? 성장성 측면에서 계속 성장을 하고 있나요? 아니면 뭐 조금 어, 플랫하게 이렇게 가나요? 아니면 좀 떨어지고 있는 추세인가요? So overall, I think you know the market performance, not only our performance, is more or less in a kind of stage where what we have seen in the market overall is a kind of normalization of the demand. Okay, when the COVID happened, you have a peak in market demand, which was more or less uh, driven by the move from uh, work office to home office, which I created a demand mm. in uh, new uh, IT uh, devices for monitor, notebook, as well as a demand for smartphone, okay? And during that time, definitely, uh, overall, the display supplier like us has been definitely enjoying that specific situation. Now, what we see right now is a kind of normalization of the market, okay? Mm -hmm. So since, you know, the demand has been pulled in, now for the last two years, we have seen a kind of normalization of the market, which automatically has created a kind of uh, adjustment mm -hmm. in demand uh, for display as well as for materials. And we have seen definitely our uh, situation overall uh, more or less basically flattening and uh, being a, a bit basically uh, in decrease for the last two years. But that is also more or less aligned and in line with the market overall, okay? Uh, we have the aim in the display organization, I think, to go back to growth uh, in the near futures, uh, supported by a market rebound, and we expect definitely to have a market rebound, I think, in the coming years, but also supported by our focus on, as I said before, and high hand market application, and also supported by the fact that, you know, we see more and more opportunity of uh, new display technologies in automotive application, for example, enhancing uh, display performances in the IT as well, and also opportunity in the next display era, like AR, VR. LCE에 대해서 좀 얘기를 좀 해보면, LCE에 대해서는 어떻게 보십니까? 저희가 그냥, 어, 어, 지금, 나타나는 현상으로만 본다면 OLED 쪽에 대한 성장성, 특히 소형에서의 어떤 폭발적인 성장성 때문에 패널 업체들도 OLED를 하는 제대로 하는 회사들은 숫자를 많이 보고 그렇지 않은 회사들은 계속 적자도 많이 보고 있거든요. 그래서 그냥 느끼기에는 LC 쪽의 시장의 성장성이라든지 앞으로 우리가 어 뭐랄까요 그 미래 어 미래 가치라고 해야 될까요? 이렇게 좀 높아지는 게좀 둔화되는 거 아닌가라는 생각이 있는데 혹시 뭐 그거 그거에 대해서 좀 견해를 좀 for, for me, I think I see the display uh, uh, ecosystem uh, in a way that there will be different technology coexisting. Okay, uh, I don't think that you know one technology will replace another one. So you will have a different uh, display um, with OLED, LC, uh, mini LED, micro LED, whatever you want to call them. It will depend on the application uh, focus. Okay. I still see LC being dominant in the TV areas, okay? Because we have seen also as part of the TFT uh, performances, basically where LC 
uh, in TV area can provide uh, high performances in terms of uh, contrast ratio, in terms of transmittance and so on, which definitely will still basically provide you know, user uh, experiences very, very strong. That's the first aspect. Uh, what we see also in uh, the RC area is definitely a still a high demand for uh, IT, especially in the area of uh, gaming, uh, in terms of uh, faster response time, in terms of uh, enhancing you know, that requirement uh, as part of the gaming environment. And the third area where also I see that from a pure, I would say, cost competitiveness is also the automotive application. Okay? The number of display in the car is going to increase dramatically. Mm. We used to have in the past basically display only for maybe um, uh, driving you know, support system or basically getting information. But moving forward, we know that uh, display we're going to have to play a key role across you know, the uh, experience of the driver or the passengers. And you may have a mix between technology in the car, between OLED and LC, depending on the performance that you're looking for. So I'm uh, quite convinced mm. that in the deep place ecosystem, you will have coexisting technologies. And those technologies will be more or less applied depending on the end product specifications, depending on the cost structure of the environment, and depending on the expectation from the users. 그렇다면 혹시 지금 최근에 워크에서 새롭게 개발하고 있는 그 액정 재료 관련된 게 있다면 좀 소개를 좀 해주시죠. So we we are definitely one of the strong asset of uh, Merck is our library of uh, single molecules. You no know, singers are those specific you know unique molecules that we have been developing for quite a long time, uh, which basically are more or less the basis of our um, LC uh, technology innovation. So we have 20,000 of those singles molecules, okay? And with those 20,000 singles molecules, we can produce up to 200,000 of different mixtures, okay? So for us is innovation anytime. Mm. Anytime when we have a requirement from our customers in terms of LC performances, we are more or less looking for enhancing what has been developing for the last 35 years, the last 50 years, by providing based on our single molecules as well as our history and knowledge and now created through those 200,000 mixtures, provide basically a solution to our customers, okay? As I like to say, you know, once again, we are looking at what we will be able, I think, to provide as unique performances to our customers based on what the customer expect, okay? And for us is, uh, more or less embedded into our DNA to really understand, first of all, what the customer basically wants, because we want to make sure that we are going to fulfill their requirements. And based on our library, using you know, digitization tools like AI, so now we are applying also AI in our way to understand which of the molecule will work the best, doing some modelization of the chemistry, and then apply that into our mixture solution to our customers. 그 LC 윈도우하고 스마트 안테나 이런 것들에 대한 어떤 현재 진행 상황에 대해서 어, 얘기를 좀 해주실 수 있습니까? So on LC Windows, we are definitely uh, progressing in a way that we have more and more projects, uh, which has been developed, uh, especially in Europe, uh, in relation, especially with the sustainability solution. Okay, you know our LC Windows has been seen by architect as well as a real estate investor as a way to uh, provide better performances in terms of uh, sustainability. Because with LC windows, you know, we can more or less basically uh, provide to the building ability to reduce AC consumption by glazing, you know, uh, the glass itself. So definitely we see here uh, some traction in the market. Uh, still, it is not basically, a, a, I would say, I think, a large, a mass volume uh, application, but we have seen definitely some specific um, progress on that one. On the antenna, uh, we, we see that definitely the technology is not taking off as we were expecting. Okay, there is definitely some specific, you know, complexity in, in relation with, you know, the, the technology itself, not too much around LC, but more specifically about processes and implementation. So right now for Antenna, uh, we have yet to see 
uh, the takeoff in the application itself. 최근에 그 미국 UDC의 머크가 지적 재산권을 어, 판매를 한 것으로 알고 있습니다. 전략적으로 어, 뭐 판단을 해서 그렇게 하셨겠지만 그 이런 그 어, 거래의 어떤 배경에 대해서 좀 궁금하고요. 그리고 앞으로 어떻게 UDC와 협업을 해 나가실지 소개를 부탁드립니다. Yeah. So concerning the, 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 just the background, the background concerning you know the fact that uh, we decided to sell our uh, emitter patent to UDC was more or less a strategically decision in relation we where we want to focus in terms of R&D investment and where we see ourselves as being an innovative company we can be successful. Okay, and we just more or less I think realize that maybe I think emitter won't be but it is the area I think where we are going to, think to be successful because. UDC has been always very predominant in that specific areas, okay? So first of all, for us, it was also uh, as part of that uh, UDC basically deal, it was also having to recognize, you know, the years that we have invested in the uh, emitter basically uh, innovation development because it has been basically very, very well valued by UDC itself, okay? Now, the thing is that deal is not only a sales deal, it's definitely a partnership deal. Okay, where we want definitely to enhance our collaboration with UDC and having the ability to have access as soon as possible to their new emitter development, which should give us an opportunity to enhance our own performances when we're going to look at for uh, developing new transport material, new, um, and especially I think in the host area where we want I think, to focus now. 지금 2018년부터 2020년까지 지금 일본에 계실 때 세일즈 총괄을 하셨단 말입니다. 어, 그러고 나서 올해 4월부터는 이제 전체적인 어, 비즈니스를 다 총괄하는 쪽으로 오셨는데 어, 일하시는데 좀 약간 좀 중점적으로 봐야 될 부분들이 좀 많이 바뀌었을 것 같아요. 뭐 세일즈만 봤을 때와 전체 비즈니스를 봤을 때 어떤 부분이 가장 지금 어, 어떤 부분을 가장 중점적으로 생각하십니까? 매출 내는 거, 뭐 개발하는 거, 뭐 고객 개발하는 거, 뭐 뭐가 있을까요? So the main, main area of focus is definitely I think, to drive the business I think, to our objectives. Okay, that's definitely I think uh, what uh, we are for as a business leaders. Okay, and for me it's definitely when we look at you know our objective, as I said before, is to expect to go back to growth by 2025. Is definitely to find out how we can uh, achieve that objective. Looking at you know uh, technology which basically are uh, going to grow in the market, and I see it in three different dimensions. Our first dimension is definitely to make sure you know we are protecting you know our uh, LC uh, position in the market by focusing on uh, where we can win, meaning high-end technologies, how we can also basically profit of the growing demand in display in new area like automotive, growing demand in display in terms of higher performance in the IT, for example. So that's definitely the main focus, definitely to protect more or less, I think, you know, our current position in the uh, LC areas. Where we see as a growing opportunity is OLED. Okay, OLED definitely has been seen as you know, the dominant technology now in Korea. Mm -hmm. And we know that OLED now is also basically seen as maybe uh, the next technology for IT application, IN application, as well as in automotive application. And our role here is definitely to find out uh, what material we need to develop in order to enhance our performances. Uh, as I was referring before, you know, about you know, efficiency in half times. So for us, it's really a thing to understand how from a material uh, design point of view, how from a process design point of view, we can definitely fulfill that specific uh, areas. And the third driver for us is going to be also to position ourselves as a sustainable supplier. We want definitely to put our sustainability as one uh, front hand uh, activity and differentiation. And we at Merck, we have a great objective to fulfill. But our goal as a display suppliers, display material suppliers, sorry, is definitely to provide solutions to our customers that can help them also, I think, to fulfill and to achieve their accessibility target. Okay, so that's for me, I think, where I want you to focus overall. So it goes from supply, uh, R&D, commercial, marketing, accessibility, I think, uh, environment. So it's everything and I don't have one specific focus. It's basically all to be aligned together to fulfill our objectives.
한국에서도 지금 어, 리더가 있는데 이쪽 사업부에 가장 중점적으로 한국에서 이거는 잘해야 된다라고 뭐 주문하신 게 혹시 있습니까? So he, 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 he can respond directly, but he knows exactly where to focus on. For us, definitely, you know, Korea is now more or less dominated by OLA technology. And here, I think our goal is definitely to, uh, to be uh, the preferred suppliers uh, from uh, the major player in Korea, meaning basically LGD and Samsung Display. Mm -hmm. And here, I think our objective is to uh, grow uh, with our customers. And even to go faster than our customers by definitely, I think, uh, being perceived as uh, you know the best material suppliers, not from a, a technical point of view, but I think when I say I think you know supplier in uh, in the um, landscape of uh, displays include performances, supplierability, quality, and being as close as possible I think, to our customer needs. 마지막으로 저는 그 부사장님의 수석 부사장님의 견해가 좀 궁금합니다. 일본에서도 근무를 하셨고 지금 한국에 뭐 이렇게 여러분 와 보셨는지 어떤지 잘 모르겠지만 이제 어쨌든 어 전체적인 이 사업을 총괄하시게 되면서 지금 디스플레이 산업은 지금 한국도 잘 하지만 중국도 굉장히 잘 하고 있고 일본은 어 지금 패널 업체가 이제 샤프라는 회사가 이제 대만에 이제 매각이 되어서 어 뭐랄까요? 그, 그쪽에서 좀 생산을 하지만, 어쨌든 주인은 바뀌었고, 대만 업체들도 크게 뭔가 성장하는 모양새는 아닌데, 저희 그 한국의 디스플레이 산업계나 학계에서 느끼기에는 중국이 이미 많은 부분은 한국을 많이 추월을 했고, 우리가 한국이 갖고 있는 것은 OLED 하나 정도 이제 남아 있는 거 아니냐, 이런 생각들 한국 내에서는 평가를 그렇게 하고 있거든요. 뭐그래서 어떻게 보십니까? 사실 이제 다 고객, 베이스가 있는 지, 지역들이잖아요. 뭐 중국에 중국에 앞으로 어느 정도나 좀 어, 전략적으로 고객 베이스 되게 중요해질지에 대해서 머크는 어떻게 생각하는지 좀 궁금합니다. So um, if, I, if I may start, I think maybe I think to we'll come on, on Japan. So Japan, as you know, has been the, the pioneer in the LCD display years ago. And uh, unfortunately for them, but they, they were not able to keep up in the that, that leading position. But I still see Japan as being uh, a key players in materials, okay, mm -hmm. in okay. display materials. I think they are not too much, but they're clean anyway, playing into display manufacturing, but definitely they still have unique technology mm -hmm. in film uh, manufacturing, for example, in uh, polymer manufacturing and so on, which basically we, we play a key role still within the overall supply chain of display. And that's the reason why for us, and for me, Japan is still very important because we have to partner mm. with those companies in, in, in Japan. Taiwan uh, definitely has been suffering a lot from the Chinese competition, but what I do see in Taiwan, uh, there is a different model developing right now, which is much more vertically integrated. Okay, I don't know if you know, but uh, recently, AU acquired a company in Germany mm. to become a kind of tier one supplier in the automotive industry. Okay, and AOU has been working really on focusing on providing much more integrated solution uh, to their customers, which basically create more value in the supply chain itself. Okay, and that's their way, more or less, I think, to be less dependent only on display manufacturing and definitely to create additional value as part of their offer. Uh, within I think, the industry by looking at, you know, the integrated solution with software, display, and so on together, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you look at basically their direct competitor like Inalux, they are more or less doing the same. Inalux has created their own company for this for automotive market. So that's basically how Taiwan is trying to think to different themselves. They still play a, a role in the IN application. I'm thinking about TV and definitely we are playing a role on that one supporting them in that area. But for me, I think Taiwan, has moved to another area to be much more integrated in terms of uh, providing solution to the different uh, industries. Uh, China, as you say, has become more or less, you know, the um, uh, volume display makers. Okay, that's where you have basically the largest capacity, uh, where you see also basically, um, uh, I think, more investment in terms of new fab. But interesting enough, uh, what you sense in China right now, that volume is not enough, okay? Because 
there is only, I think, the overall, basically, uh, performance of the business in China is not so great because you are not making a lot of profit. So what we see in China right now is really more focusing maybe on quality. Okay, and uh, when we had uh, a seminar in uh, September last this year, all the suppliers and all the key opinion leaders in the China's, Chinese sorry, discipline industry, they were speaking about performance first, cost second. So definitely there's a, a, a change in the Chinese industry to really understand how they can become much more, uh, can, sorry, become stronger in performances and in quality, which basically is a shift compared to what they used before. And that definitely where we can play a role as an innovative company like Merck to support them. Korea is a very different story. Korea has decided basically some years ago now, I think, to uh, move out uh, from LC in general. I think we still have a clear LC application in some specific area like IT. And to become really what they you know, the leading uh, technology country in all that areas, okay? And, and I do believe, you know, at the end, you will still have basically uh, a kind of a mix uh, from a country point of view based on technology leading, okay? Mm -hmm. And as I said before, that mix will coexist because we still have a requirement for all the different technology I think in the display environment, okay? Every country has its strengths, every country has its weaknesses, okay? And that's our uh, leading supplier in the display material. We are particularly more or less, I think, to support every country or every customers to enhance their performances and to support by the clear where they see some weaknesses. 뭐 며칠 전에 이제 그 독일 법원에서 베이징의 바이라는 에, 바이라는 회사의 지적 재산권 관련해서 뭐가 승소했던 말이죠. 당연히 독일이나 미국이나 뭐 한국이나 이런 데서는 당연히 뭐가 승소할 거라고 저도 이제 생각을 하는데 중국 현지에서 이거 얘기해야 되는 거 아닙니까? 제가 약간 이거 여쭤보고 싶었거든요. 그쪽에서 현지에서도 뭔가 이 어, 소가 진행되고 있는 것인지. I won't comment on you know, the detail about what we do right now from a lawsuit point of view, but my comment would be that you know, we have been investing a lot of, uh, I would say, money and energy in developing basically our uh, technology innovation, okay? And as a business leader, it is my responsibility, I think, to defend and protect our innovation, okay? And for me, I think, you know, is that something that we will always basically uh, do to force the company basically or infringing our IP, I think, I think to recognize, I think, that they are infringing our, our IP, okay? So for us, it's very, very important, you know, that any time when we can and uh, where we can, we will always basically defend our position from IP point of view. 지금 한국의 큰 패널 회사도 중국의 그큰 패널 회사를 상대로 OLED 관련된 뭔가 소송을 굉장히 강력하게 이제 앞으로 걸 걸어, 걸었던 것도 있고 앞으로 더 걸겠다라고 하는 뭔가 이 움직임이라든지 분위기라는 것들이 있거든요. 보시기에 어떠세요? 이런 그 디스플레이의 그 아까 뭐 UDC랑도 협업을 하셨, 하신다고 하셨지만 이 특허 관련해서, IP 관련해서 이런 분쟁들이 앞으로 많아질까요? I do believe definitely, I think, is a more or less, you know, the responsibility of companies, I think, to defend themselves, you know, when there's infringement, okay? Mm. And I won't comment on any specific case going on right now, but uh, as uh, discipline leaders, uh, we have to be also to recognize, you know, that the market that we play is definitely also a niche market, where basically maybe sometimes technology basically can, can be more or less basically spread across uh, the different customers. But once again, I want to think to reinforce, you know, uh, it is normal to defend, you know, your uh, innovation uh, investment. So it is normal, basically, when you spend a lot of energy and resources developing, I think, developing top-notch technology, it is normal to defend those ones and to protect those ones. Okay, and for me, basically, I don't know if we will expect more and more, you know, such kind of situation uh, in the future, but we, as a company who has been basically uh, innovating for a long, long time and still basically investing, we are always investing 12% of our sales in R&D every year in display solution. It's very, very important that we continue to protect, I think, our innovation. I do visit Korea often when I can, exactly, yes. And I've been uh, in Korea, as I said last time, I think in September last year. 
And definitely, uh, I will come again, I think, uh, as soon as we have the opportunity. I'm here for the Display Insight, which is, you know, our trade show, our event, where we want to share with our customers advancement in the market, advance in technology, and so on. And my also, uh, with my you know, background of being much more commercial, definitely, I enjoy a lot also meeting with our customers and visiting our customers. Sometimes our customers are visiting us in Darmstadt, but also, for me, it's also very important um, to, to come here and to meet, I think, with our uh, key customers and key people, I think, at, uh, in our Korea. 다음번에 또 오셔서 좋은 이슈 뭐좀 발표 거리가 있으면 저희 채널에 또 나와 주시면 고맙겠습니다. Perfect. I'd be more than happy to have a chat again with you. Thank you. 감사합니다. Thank you.